Sword indeed. Someone's singing? Where is the sound coming from? One Heart from Breaking by Robin. Her songs are played in the dreamland from time to time as the Charmony Festival is drawing close. This spot is the closest place to the sky in the dreamscape. It's far from the hustle and bustle of the city and free from the bickering among the dreamweavers. You can feel the moment. The scenery. The people and the dreams without being disturbed by anyone. Leave me How beautiful. Trapped in the cage. <laughs> Time is frozen at this golden hour. This golden dream shared by the fool from the tavern and the memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection, the wandering ranger and the IPC ambassador, the Astral Express nameless, and me. Everyone falls asleep here equally, regardless of our different agendas. I'm sorry. I really am a stowaway. It's only right to tell you. My, days. Once My hometown was destroyed a long time ago. Bubbles, but how <laughs> it was probably the doing of the Legion or the Swarm, no but... Hesitation on those I I'm an interstellar refugee. Just like many of the Penacone locals. The Harmony accepts everyone, including wanderers from afar. The family takes them in, but they don't... They don't belong here. In this splendid metropolis, some have a dream called Penacone, but... Some have dreams... That are no different from reality. Even though everyone who comes here harbors the same motive in the beginning. And it's likewise for me. I have a wish I want to achieve so badly in the real world. But I can't. So... I want to give it a shot here. in the cage. Syndrome. Have you heard of this term? It's a strange condition. Those suffering from it will experience an irreversible chronic dissociation of their physical structure. This means they will slowly fade away, and the process is barely noticeable to others. You can still run, jump, and talk as usual. Everything seems normal. But then you'll start doing everything slightly slower than others. And then even slower than that. Until the lines between your body and the entire world become blurry. You won't be able to tell reality from dreams because... 
they have all been shattered. So how could I possibly resist it? <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? I can actually free myself from this icy medical cabin in this dream. I can forget about all the doctor's advice. I can listen and see and touch and think and understand whatever I want with my body. So although this world isn't real, this experience is priceless. Shackles. Just like this moment. My I'm sorry. For certain reasons, there are things I can't reveal to you yet. But there are also things you should know. I am, in fact, after the Watchmaker's legacy. Doesn't mean we have to go our separate ways and be enemies. But at least, I really hope things don't turn out that way. I'll tell you, but not now. In my dream. A scorched earth and a new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun and it whispered to me. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. Why does life slumber? You see, everything is possible in this land of dreams. The nightmarish past will disperse and fade away like bubbles in water, and the future that you don't want to face will never come. Why do people choose to sleep? I think it's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. I'm sorry. Things are getting all bleak and serious. Uh, let me see what I can do to lighten the mood. I mean, don't you have a lot of friends on the Astral Express? What would you guys do if something like this happened? Selfie. Hmm. You're right. I mean, I've been here so many times, why didn't I think of taking a photo? I feel a little awkward taking it by myself. Would you like to join me? Let's commemorate this moment. I can be a little bit camera shy. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Here, you hold the camera. Let's do this. One, two, say cheese.
have to go back already? <laughs> Time really flies. I feel like going back to reality and resting too. Come on, let's say goodbye at Golden Hour. Discover any room? Come to think of it, I wonder if I have to go to the hotel to return to reality. Strange. Where's everyone gone? Is that guy up to no good again? We meet again, my dear. It looks like you have not taken my warnings to heart. A oh, pity. Are you so enchanted by that girl? Just so blind. Careful. I'm more than certain now that there's something not right about this friend of yours. Oh, this brave little girl appears to be protecting you. I wonder why. Are you two that close? You talk too much. Oh, I love your attitude, my dear. I have to admit, you're different from your friend here. Your senses are much sharper. Even so, you are lagging far behind the main party. Have you not noticed yet what the family is hiding? The secret behind this sweet dream? And as for you, the trailblazer who saved the ice world. I wonder how many things Sampo glossed over when recounting the happenings on Yarilo 6. Oh well, it was my problem for trusting him. I'm really, really disappointed in you. <sighs> um, excuse me. Why don't you rest for a little while? Inside the real dreamscape. <laughs> oh. Uh, this. What is this place? I'm back at the hotel? No, this feeling. The surroundings look a little like I just entered a dream. Q. 
can't get in touch with. This is too weird. towards my allowance. <laughs> <laughs> 